Hey, what is up you guys? It is Tyler. Welcome back, back, back to the Tyler Williams channel. Welcome to another video. This is a predictions video for WWE TLC. Initially, after Survivor Series, I plan to not watch any more WWE pay-per-views going into next year. But I'm like, there's only one pay-per-view left and... I'm going to the Rumble next year, so it probably makes sense if I do watch. So, that being said, there is one match I'm really excited for. I don't know any of the matches that are happening on this card, except for the women's TLC match. So, I'm like, all right. Aside from the Becky Lynch match, which is basically the same thing as Survivor Series, what else am I excited for on this match? Then I'm like, I don't think I know any of their matches on this card. So, I'm going to go through this match card, tell you guys what my predictions are, and yeah, let's get into this prediction. Ha 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 ha. Body talks. I struts. The struts. Alright, so what's the first matches we got? What's the first batches look like? Alright, so we got the mixed match challenge finals. That's 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 the finals? That's probably in the pre-show. How did the finals end up being Jenner Mahal and Alicia Fox versus Carmella and R Truth? With the winners receiving the last entry in the... Wasn't, like, Finn Balor and Sasha Banks a team? And, like, Braun Strowman and Ember Moon? What happened to those teams? How do we get these two teams in the finals? Those are such oddball picks. I guess Jinder and Alicia Fox could win because Jinder's former WWE champion. Him being number 30 could work. Alicia Fox being number 30 just really is to give her something to do because she never wins anything. And it's going to be Jinder and Alicia. And that's really all I'm going to have based off of that prediction. Finn Balor. Baron Corbin. Drew McIntyre. Ooh, that should be good. Then we got Finn Balor versus Drew McIntyre. I don't know what the buildup is going into this match, but Drew McIntyre is really good. Finn Balor is really good. I am honestly really shocked that they have booked Drew so prominently this entire year i was very worried for him when he got called up to monday night raw they were going to bury him but he's one of the very few wrestlers that come from nxt that they don't squander at least not yet but i'm not going to jinx anything so i'm really impressed by their treatment of him and for that i give them credit i'm gonna go with drew mcintyre because i firmly believe that he should be if not the winner of the War Rumble next year, he should have a very, very dominant performance. Especially if Braun Strowman, the rumor is Braun Strowman versus Brock Lesnar is going to be the Universal Championship match. Then Drew McIntyre should be the powerhouse that has the most eliminations. I'm going to go with Drew McIntyre to win. Got to set the stones here. Natalia. Let me guess, Ruby Riot. Yep. So we got Natalia versus Ruby Riot in a tables match. This feud... Between the Riot Squad, Sasha Banks, Bailey, and the Tides been going on forever. I did see the segment between Ruby Riot and Natalia with Ruby Riot having a picture of Jim Nyhart on a table. I don't see what's so offended is about that. It's not like she defamed Jim Nyhart by like spitting on him. So I don't see why people were so offended by that. Nonetheless, uh with all that being said and done, I'm gonna go with Natalia. I feel like you can't really do all that build up and then Natalia loses because that makes you look like a chump. So, yeah, I'm going to go on to tell you. Cedric Alexander finally getting his Cruiserweight Championship rematch against Buddy Murphy. I loving, I am loving that these Cruiserweights are finally being featured on the main card. Now, it could always last maybe on a pre-show, but you guys know the pre-show was just Cruiserweight heaven for, like, the last two years. So, seeing these guys finally get put on the main show makes me so happy, for them at least. Especially for Buddy Murphy and Mustafa Ali. They're the best guys on the roster. Cedric Alexander, he held that title long enough. He really doesn't need to win it back. I'm going to go with Buddy Murphy. Simple as that. We got triple threat tag team match between The Bar, The Usos, and The New Day. The last triple threat tag team match was at like WrestleMania, wasn't it? Wasn't it? It wasn't. Didn't that match suck? I don't know if I remember if The Bar was in that match or not. But there was a triple threat tag team match for WrestleMania that sucked with all these guys. Usos and The New Day, they seem to never fucking escape each other. They had a really good series of matches in 2017, but it seems like ever since those matches, they just can't get a grip from each other. 
Can they just be put on separate rosters at this point? If anything, the bar, the new day, I feel like these are the only three tag teams on SmackDown. Like, why do I feel like these are the only three teams that ever get championship opportunity? It's a Brazongo on SmackDown. Like, why can't why can't anyone else win the titles or get a title opportunity? Why is it always at the beat of New Day News? I'm a little bit over this. Switch them up. Let's do something different. They should just get rid of the tag team titles, in my opinion, because they just obviously don't want the fuck to do with them on either brand. But for this match, I'm going to go with the bar. No reason in particular, just the bar, I guess. Ronda Rousey. Nia Jax. I still think it's kind of crazy that Nia Jax is still getting this Raw Women's Championship match after concussing Becky Lynch and taking her out of the match at Survivor Series. She ruined her plans and she's getting a title match. She's getting compensated for it. Anyway, uh, predictions for this match. I don't see why Ronda Rousey will lose to Nia Jax, especially because she's supposed to be going into WrestleMania as the champion. I really don't see any other outcome but Ronda Rousey walking in WrestleMania as the champion. Whether it's against Becky Lynch or Charlotte or any other woman on the roster, I don't see her losing it here. So I'm going to go with uh, Ronda Rousey. Elias. Oh, he's a babyface now. Bobby Lashley. So we have a le what is it? A guitar on a fucking pole? A guitar is dangling from the ceiling, I'm guessing. So we have Elias versus Bobby Lashley. Now we have heel Bobby Lashley with Leo Rush. I would have rather have been Elias versus Leo Rush because Leo Rush is a high flyer, but. I don't know. Whenever I think a ladder match and I see two heavyweights, I just get very disinterested very quickly. Uh, Elias, you know, babyface Elias, I guess it's working. I guess a lot of people tend to, are starting to like him. I mean, he's good nonetheless. Like, he or babyface, I like Elias. Bobby Lashley, he's just been so... I don't really care about this match, period. But... I'm going to just go with Elias because I guess his guitar's on the line. I don't think there'll be a ladder match and there's pinfalls and submissions. So I guess the guitar is hanging about the ceiling. And if that's the case, I'm going to go with Elias. Baron Strowman. Baron Corbin. We got Braun Strowman versus Baron. Now this seems like it has pinfalls and submissions in it, which if that's the case, then it's not a tables, ladders, and chairs match. That's a no holds barred match. But nonetheless... Braun Strowman versus Baron Corbin. Y'all remember back when Baron Corbin had hair and he was being built up as basically the secondary Braun Strowman on SmackDown Live. And then he went to Monday Night Raw and became the constable. And ever since then, everyone just, he just has go away heat. Yeah, so I, 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 I kind of don't care about this match either. But if I have to go with the winner, I'm going to go with Braun Strowman because if he's going into Royal Rumble, Facing Brock Lesnar, which honestly he shouldn't be if you ask me because he's already lost to Brock Lesnar like four or three different times. But I'm going to go with Braun Strowman. You got to make him look strong going into his match at the Rumble. The new Daniel Bryan and AJ Styles. The WWE Championship rematch between Daniel Bryan and AJ Styles. Now, if you guys know what WWE is, they can have one rematch, which turns into two rematches, which turns into three rematches, which turns into four rematches. We saw with AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura and AJ Styles with Samoa Joe. So I won't be surprised if this feud stretches out until like Fast Lane or February or March or some shit like that. But at least for now, we're just getting one title rematch. I'm going to go with Daniel Bryan. AJ Styles held that title for all, close to 400 days. There's no reason for him to win it back. Now, I don't know what would be his role at the War Rumble or at WrestleMania without the WWE Championship. But either way, I don't see a reason for him to win it back. So I'm going to go with Daniel Bryan. Rey Mysterio. Randy Orton. Randy Orton versus Rey Mysterio in a chairs match. You guys ever had a conversation with like a loved one, like your mother or your father, brother, sister, best friend, significant other? And they're telling you, so they're telling you a story about their day or something very concerning to them that just gets them very invested in a conversation. And you're looking at them, you're giving them the traditional, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, totally, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But in your head, you're like, wow, I honestly don't give a damn. That's me with this match. So 
Next, Seth Rollins. Dean Ambrose. So yeah, Seth Rollins versus Dean Ambrose for the Cardinal Championship. There's nothing on the line. Of all the matches you can give a gimmick to, it should have been this one. So I think that's a bit of a missed opportunity there. But, you know, they've had a plethora of matches in the past. They could have a great match, even without the smoke and mirrors. So I'm going to go with Dean Ambrose. Uh, I know there's been a lot of rumors that Seth Rollins is reportedly going to be the one facing Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. If that's true, I mean, I, I guess. I, I don't, I guess, you know. I, I'm not opposed to it. I'm not 100% for it. So it lies somewhere in between on that one. But I'm going to go with Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins. I, I could definitely, I don't, I don't, I really would like to see him as Universal Champion. But I just don't have any interest in seeing Brock Lesnar and Seth Rollins. That's all. So if that's the track they're going on, then yeah, Dean Ambrose wins this match. Oh, I love that they're building this up as the main event, even though it probably won't be. Woo! Woo! Women's Tables Last Chairs match. Becky, Charlotte. Oscar, three of the best women's wrestlers in the entire company. Woo! This is the match I want to see, and the only match I really care about. The women's triple threat tables, ladders, and chairs match between Becky Lynch, Charlotte, and Oscar for the SmackDown Women's. It's crazy how the SmackDown Women's Championship has become the title I care about the most in the entire company. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? And all because of Becky Lynch. All because of her. Uh, you know, I want to, I really want Becky to retain, but I still want to see Becky versus Ronda. In order for us to get to that point, I think Becky has to lose this title, win the Royal Rumble, and challenge Ronda WrestleMania. So that would mean Becky would have to lose this match. And, you know, my instinct would say, oh, let's go with Asuka. Asuka's won the championship. You know, they're trying to push her a little bit, you know, trying to do something with her. But I think if you go with Oscar winning the championship, somewhere down the line, Charlotte's going to win it back. I just do not see Charlotte not at all winning that championship back. Especially if Becky's going to be challenging Ronda WrestleMania. Yeah, Charlotte's going to win that title back. And do you really want to see Charlotte versus Oscar again with Charlotte beating her again? I don't. I think it's. I think it was terrible that they had Charlotte beat Oscar WrestleMania. So if that were to happen again, I would be furious so i'm gonna go with charlotte winning the match here people are just gonna be pissed i'll be one of them but as long as they're building up charlotte versus oscar and oscar gets her win back and maybe the war rumble and that's fine but any other i don't know you know have becky retain maybe becky drops into the war rumble wins over i don't i wouldn't do that but I, I'm, that's my prediction. What do you guys think? I'm going to go with Charlotte winning the title. Charlotte's going to win this match. But yeah, guys, that's my predictions for TLC. Let me know what you guys think of my prediction down below. And what are your predictions for the show? Comment down below. Let me know. It is this Sunday. I will not be doing a live stream because I'll be at work. But I will be watching the show when I get home and do a review immediately after the show goes off. So, as always, make sure you guys stay tuned for all that. Love you guys as always. And I will talk to you all later. Peace out.